What do you guys think about uh, octogenarians? You know, the first time I re really heard that word was in Star Trek. What? Octogenarian. Really? Mm hmm. Welcome to Curiosity Public. Dutch! Jones! And welcome to yet another episode of our Ultimate Spirits. It's a competition. Our quest to review every sleeping spirit on the face of the planet is subjected to our crazy hard 100 point scoring system. And in this episode, Octomore 12 point. One. That's it? 8.1. Uh, yes, Octomore. Uh, this is from the uh, Brookladi Distillery, and it is their uh, kind of their special one of their special releases mm -hmm. that they put out. Mm -hmm. They put out a number of different special releases, and this is kind of one of the heavily peated. They call it super heavily peated scotch. And let's take a quick look at the canister here. Look at this. Oh, look at that behemoth. It's kind of got a gray tinge to it. it says Octomore. 12.1, 130.8 parts per million, peat, 59.9% alcohol, holy hey, crap. Hey, oh. uh, the other stats here along the side, let's see what that says what there. Does that say? It says five years old, bourbon cask, barley is a uh, Scottish mainland barley, um, limited release 2021, the concerto variety of barley, I don't know what that means. This is called the impossible equation, Comes in this wonderful dark gray canister. Let's get the bottle out. Take a look at that. You can put that aside. Look at this bottle. I Dude, mean, look come at on. this interior of the lining in here. Dude, look at this. Look at the matte black jewels. Wow, sexy. Come on, this is so cool. That is sexy. Um, let's get a close up here. Don't you think that should have been blackened? Oh yeah, blackened should have done this for sure. This is so much cooler. Look at that, that just looks amazing. That looks awesome. It looks so slick. Now, I mean, I'd love to see- It looks like a bowling pin. I'd love to see the whiskey color, but um, I believe this is non-chill filtered, no color added. So it's not a particularly dark whiskey as we just learned it was, it's only five years old. Uh, I'm gonna get us poured and let this open up for a little bit. Dylan, what else you got? So this is a yearly release. Um, this is 12, so obviously, you know, you'll have to deduce that there were previous numbers in the past. Uh, it's considered one of the, if one of the, if not the uh, most heavily peated wow. whiskey. I could smell it already. Um, <laughs> I smell the peat. That is released commercially. Uh, you know, uh, they color. have a, like a 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 every year, sometimes yep. a 0.4. Um, this year they didn't, they only have 12.1, 12.2 and 12.3. Um, usually the point 0.1 is kind of the regular release, so mm. 12.1 would be the regular release. Um, it's finished the next bourbon for five years. The whatever X.2, um, or in this case 12.2, tends to be um, kind of the travel exclusive, but this year, um, you know, because of the pandemic and things like that, um, they released it to everyone. I think that one was finished in X, uh, no, French Sauternes. Sauternes. Yeah, Sauternes uh, casks for the last two years. And then 12.3, um, um, usually uh, it's notable because they use kind of local uh, grains, mm. local farm grain, uh, very specific. It's kind of like um, the one that's- um, Springbank? Uh, Springbank, yeah, yeah. Springbank Spring Bank, local barley. Yeah, local yeah. barley. It's kind of like Well, and that. also like the Cad Bowl. Cad Bowl was also the same concept. Right. Uh, I think uh, for, for bourbon nerds, I think the Octomore 8.3 is notable. Because I think it was the highest, uh, uh, you know, uh, parts per million in terms of the phenol. Mm. Uh, I, I'm trying to remember how, what were the numbers. It said the 300s. Wow. Um, before it was like 6.3. I remember it was like 258. I think the 8.3 was like 309. This is 130.8. Yeah. Now 309 parts per million. Um, I, I just want to be clear. That does not necessarily mean that it's um, more smoky. Right. Okay. Yeah. Peat. Uh, yeah, it's peat. And when you age it, uh, that peat flavor can change. Yeah. So it doesn't necessarily mean that the yes. higher PPM always equates to like higher phenol yeah. flavor. I mean, it could be it's higher phenol. Yeah. But Concentration. The flavor that the phenols 
contribute to may be yeah. very different. Mm -hmm. I hope that makes Agreed. sense. Yeah, and I could, and I, we can nerd out about um, the different types of phenols that are in there. Um, the arguments that phenol is not the end all be all in terms of contributing to the aroma or even the flavor profile. Mm -hmm. There are lots of different solutes that go into it and also contribute to what we consider smoky or even peated flavor. So yes, there are lots of complexities there and there are a lot of variables, um, but, uh, but you know, people like to compare numbers, right? So, but uh, let's take a... Take a gander. Take a gander. Wow. Did you just fart? No, I dropped a pen. Dropped a <laughs> <laughs> What? This is a Puritan what, what? show, sir. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, 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 wow. Only five years old now. Amazing. What's the price point on this? 150? 150 bucks. 150. I think in the U.S. it's sold close to 200 though. Mm. So a uh, good price point comparison and what we're going to be comparing this bottle to for our members of Curiosity Private, if you want to become a member, click that join button. We're going to be comparing this side by side to Lefroy 10 year cask strength, another very peaty dram. Why not the Lagavulin? Price point. Price point. I mean, this is cheaper. So and it's let's younger. See. This is, yeah. This is the, the, the Lagavulin's 12 years, this is 10 years, this is only five years, um, but this is 120 proof. So almost the same proof point, 60.1, as opposed to the 59.9. So if you're a member of Curiosity Private, look forward to that. If you're not, and you'd like to see content like that, hit the join button down below. If not, we're gonna get right back into the review of the Octomore shortly. Actually, immediately. Shortly. Depends on what you mean by that word. Jules is taking his time with this. This is interesting. And Dylan's looking up other people's scores on the internet again. Because <laughs> he doesn't, he wants to be like everybody else. Oh, is that right? Is that right? Oh, yeah. Is that right? Um, this from Dutch, the, the circle of self-pleasure. <laughs> you know, what is that cult that you're part of? I love how um, Jules's numbers like makes no sense because He's typing in numbers that are beyond what some of the categories like. No, no, no. no it's like it, it, it's like his numbers are like four hundred and fifty-two <laughs> plus seven hundred and eighty-six. He's doing like cross multiplication. He's like exactly. he's gonna figure it all out. All it? right, whatever. All right, guys, we've had some time to taste. We've had time to score. We're ready to discuss our scores with you, but unfortunately, first we have to hear Jules tell you guys about the scoring system. Oh. Um. 100 points, 10 categories <laughs> that include aroma, flavor, body, complexity, balance, finish, unique, mystery, aesthetics, and value. We do a flavor at 20 points, everything else at 10 points, except aesthetics and value at 5 points each. And you can medal in our competition if you score 60 and above, go from bronze over gold to diamond. Let's get our initial scores. Of course, all this can change. We're gonna we're about to discuss it all, so I'm about to get bullied. we we may bully each other. We don't know. We, I don't know what you guys scored it yet, but I gave this eighty. Oh, okay, seventy-eight. Seventy-nine. Look at that guy. That's about as close as you can I'm get. I'm still gonna get bullied. That's pretty good. That's yeah, pretty you're, good. you're good. I am too, probably. But that's all right. <laughs> Because you know Dylan's the bully. Exactly. All right, let's get not a bully. <laughs> You're a bully. No, All right, delightful Dylan this year. All right, let's kick it off with aroma. Uh, seven. 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 Yes. It's just it's it's all, it's all peat. Peat. Come on. I mean, there's sweetness. There is sweetness. But I, I did get I did get like a a smoked peach kind of thing going on. Like that was the only fruit smoked I could kind fruit. of pick yeah. out. Yeah. I, I felt like it was a peach, but not like a super super sweet peach. No. You uh, know what it is? I docked it because I wish there was more complexity to the aroma. Yeah, I agree. Um, I wanted to get I know more. the complexity is another category, but you still have to think about what's being presented in front of you. Yeah. What's there is very pleasant, but you know, we've tried the variety of Ardbeg that are mm -hmm. out there. We've tried the different variations of Lagavulin, Lafroy, other, other Isla uh, releases where they may have more, even with all of that, Pete, they have more prominent sugars and fruits and even almost flour 
right? I mean, yeah. if you if you think about, I think there might the, be a little bit of that the, flower. The Cody Freckin and all these kinds mm -hmm. of uh, releases, yeah. So. Yeah, agreed. We all agreed. Let's move on to flavor seventeen. Seventeen. 17. Wow, we are in zinc. It's like ah. our cycles have like aligned. <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, good stuff. I mean, I, a lot of good stuff going on here. A lot of good sweet components, the smoky components, the peaty components, the grain is in there. I mean, it's it's very enjoyable. I, I just, Why did you dock it, though? I don't know that I docked it as opposed to it just didn't get much higher than 17 for me. Because mm. I couldn't pick out much in the ways of specifics. That's actually why I docked it. So I say I gave it an yeah. 18. Um, there's like there's like this sweet, but, but I don't I can't really pick out individual flavors of sweet. Exactly, yeah. it's they like all a melded candy. into just like yeah. some kind of like a mixed flavor candy. Right. Exactly, and you're it's like, like a Willy Wonka. I, it's like I know I like it because it's sweet. Right, yeah. but it's like you go to the soda fountain and you just put your put cup all under. Of them in. Yeah, yeah. Right. you get a little bit of Yeah, what is that? The shack recipe. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, on that note, it let's is. move on to body. I, I liked. I love the way this hit my palate. It was an eight. Eight. I really enjoy this too. I, in fact, I gave it a nine originally, but I ended up at an eight. Oh, no, eight. So we all agreed. Wow. wow, wow. We are really. I mean, we're three for three here. We all agree. Um, I love. I love the. The heft is how fantastic. It, yeah. How it yeah. coats. Yeah. Why is, why is it perfect? perfect though? Exactly. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite heavy enough. You know, you can quite see it in the legs. Heavy? Like the legs, like they drop heavy. off a little bit too quickly. Look at that. See, I was gonna say for me, like um, there are points where, or parts where, like the viscosity felt weak. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like, what's happening here? So that's why I docked it. Originally, I had it at nine. So it's almost like it it, it, it blankets everything, but the blanket is very thin. Thin, yeah. You know what? Yeah. I felt like, like a veil. I felt like there was no like liquid. The body isn't in the liquid. The body is in the like a like the air. The, um, it's almost like gas it's form like the, the in your there. mouth, and that's what you're tasting rather than like the liquid itself. Mm. The liquidless, it's, colorless, it's just, odorless gas. It's just very um, unobtainium. Do uh, yeah, you know the movie? You don't know the movie. I do know that one. Okay. It's a uh, you know it's it's um, it's fleeting to a degree. Okay. But Fleetwood Mac. But I think what I liked about it initially was that uh, the flavors that you're supposed to taste. It lingers. Yeah, they're right? there. It lingers. They're there, and right? then they don't. Um, yeah, I, I mean, offend. All good. Yeah, not a lot to knock off it. Again, I, the the theme for me was I couldn't. I, the numbers wanted to go up, mm -hmm. but they kind of just stopped at a certain <laughs> level for me. Yeah. Like everything was good, but it was just like yeah, it's not Usain Bolt fast. It's just very fast. It's mm -hmm. like Carl Lewis. All right, guys, moving on to no, complex. He's really fast though. Uh, all right, it's complexity. Like, it's like Dutch rushing after a uh, blood oath on the shelf. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, all right, complexity eight. You know he's gonna cut that. Uh, eight? eight. 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 Seven. Seven. I had a seven originally. Yeah. Ended up going up because I enjoyed. There was I was actually getting um, more spice too that came out um, in the end so it's like oh I'm actually getting different um, you know from the sweetness to the peat all that stuff and then the spice component showed up so yeah I, mean, I, I added, there's a lot going on here yes yeah, so all much it. it's good but I've had Ardbeg releases I've had previous Octomore releases mm. where they had breadth of flavor in terms of the fruit and so I thought I thought it was good, yeah, but it, was it wasn't. Weak on the fruit side. Yeah, it's not it's not as as good as some of these other releases. I, I've had better, um, for cheaper. Um, again, yeah. like Cody Vreck and, and some of the Lagavulin twelve year mm. cast strength releases, um, even the Lafroy ten year cask. Sort of some of the uh, the older ones, uh, you get that. Mm. Um, some of the Ardbeg, um, you know, you, you're 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 getting that fruit component or and or. The, even the peat slash smoke, you're getting a variety there that you're. Yeah, the fruit is there. No, you convinced me. It's there, but it's. You, there, but you, it's, can, you yeah. convinced me to go down. I'm going to go down to the seven. Yeah, I agree with you. All right, that makes sense. All right, moving on to balance eight. 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 Wow. Not a lot of things to balance, <laughs> yeah, but they balance. But the ones that are there, yeah, yeah. it's balanced. Uh, you, you, I, I don't just get taste enough this. Of each. I don't taste this and say, "Wow, that's way out of whack." Yeah, well, no, nothing's overwhelming. Everything's where it should be. Everything's but, where it should well, be. Well, why isn't it nine or ten? Uh, it, there's the the peat is is really heavy. It's mostly peat and sweet, and I don't get a lot of the other elements that I'm thinking of. They're not like they're not out of bounds. It's just 
those are weighted maybe a little too heavily for me. Yeah, mm. I think it's just that um, I think depending on your sip, the, yeah. the that skew is slightly one or the other. Agreed. And that's why it's not perfect. Agreed. All right, guys, finish. I very much enjoyed the finish as well. Eight. This is kind of weak for me. This is seven. I see that. Initially started at seven. I gave thin. it an eight. Yeah. I gave it an eight. I like what's left. I don't know. It was kind of thin at the end for me. I, I just wish it had more of the fruit. That and some of these I was going to say, I, I wish there. it had more flavor at the finish. Mm. <laughs> I wasn't getting it. Yeah, because I, I think thin. most people, most people, if you haven't had other scotches, yeah. you'll you'll basically Dude, only get the peat. I'm going to I, I'm I gonna think you get that more than the peat. I think you get, it's not overwhelming. No. You know what thin. I liked about this release? This is very, like, subdued. It's yeah. You know, like, it's the peat thin. was not, like, out of this world. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we we have we own several versions of the art bag um, committee releases, right? True. And you can see what they can do with peat and fruit, right? So in and that those sense, finishes lingered. Man. Yeah, yeah. So this one trailed off. Uh, I don't I don't know that I agree with you. I don't I don't I, I feel like it it, it definitely long. it notched down, but the length made up for it for me because I can still mm. taste it on yeah, the palate. Yeah, it's medium length. And, yeah. and the other side of it too is none nothing. Um, Unappealing came out on the page. True. Yeah, it's like True. this, but I want this. Yeah, I agree. I want it to be a bit more. I want it to be two more. Yeah. And it's an eight. That's why it's an eight, because yeah. two more would be perfect. All right, guys, moving on to uniqueness eight. Eight. Seven. I see your seven. I thought about a seven. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm comparing it to all the other Octomore releases. And all of the Ardbeg, and all of the Lafroig, and all but of the Lagavulin. Comparing it to Scotch in general, this proof point, this much. Even peat. the Bruchlade, the peated. Yeah. I'm even going, you know, in that in that way. But with this flavor with profile, this flavor, this and I give, young, it a, I give it a bonus for the bottle presentation. The bottle and this young having this much flavor, yeah. I give it. This I young. do have to give it some points yeah. for that. I mean, I'm with you. This oh, is man. the Eight. the youth. Yeah, you're going up. It's impressive. You're going up. At this no, the uniqueness. I think. I think even in the twelve point X range, mm -hmm. I think you would give higher scores on the twelve point two. I haven't had it. Don't know. So, yeah, whatever. I'm only scoring what's in front of me. All right, guys. Moving on to drinkability seven. I give it an eight. I give it a nine. Yeah, wow. it's drinkable. I understand the nine. This is. It's drinkable. For as peaty you know, for as a, it for is, a young for a scotch, young I gotta say, peaty. man. It's drinkable. It is, it is drinkable. Yeah. yeah, it's drinkable. This is good. The only reason I knocked it, weak. the only reason I knocked it is because there are alternatives that I would give it a 10, like the uh, You keep drinking more. Yeah. 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 But you're, you're not going to stop drinking this. Yeah. Like some of the Ardbeg. This is an evening sipper. Yeah, some of the Ardbeg that I love. I, I disagree because for me, this is a one glass dram. I'm not going to pour You're done with one? I'm, I'm not going to pour a second glass of this. Dang. Uh, but that's because that. of the kind of scotch that it is, and Done I recognize that. One. Um, and you know, but for me, I'm not going to pour some glass necessarily. You no. know, this is this is an end the night kind of drink, and and I hate to knock it for that, but to me, it's not the kind of yeah, thing. That if it this is bottle's a sitting here, but you're going to have more than one. Yeah, but if you're sitting down, this is the now. This is the example I always bring up. We're sitting down watching a movie. This is what you pour for the last. 15 minutes. This is me right. hanging out at the lobby at a hotel. I'm not pouring more and more and Europe. more of this. I'm yeah, having one yeah. pour to close things out with. And yes, it's good. And yes, I could have more. But mm. for me, I need to dock at a couple points on drinkability just because it's because that's the way it is. That's fair. Yeah. I mean. Do you, man. All right. Moving on <laughs> to. Where <laughs> floats your, you know, smoky boat. Um, aesthetics. This is perfect. Pulsating. There's nothing better than this. This is a five. This is a five. This is no a question. Four. You are so wrong. What? You are so wrong. Look at this bottle again. But the other no. The what's wrong with this X bottle? Are like these? That's the only. No, thing. they're not. The other one's frosted. Is it frosted? Yeah, I thought it was the black. The twelve point three is frosted. Uh, okay. What? Stand corrected. I think the twelve point two is the same. One of them's the same. I remember because yeah. they look the same. But so. this is how do you uh, get? Whatever, I'll give it to you. It's like Spinal Tap. How do you get more black? None more black. I wish they used that, like, the ultra black. You know, the one that, The like, absorbing... Yeah. One, yeah. yeah. Oh, man, come on. This looks, look at this. Just look at it, Jules. It's exactly. amazing. Have you ever seen that paint in yes, real life? I have. Yeah. Dude, I have. it's in theaters. What are you it, talking it, about? It, That's what they use. It drives me insane. Like, my eyes start to, like... They hurt. Pulsate. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. It's final. like in, uh, it's like in uh, Total it's Recall. Like, uh, when he's outside, it's like... No, then it's like... <laughs> No, I was thinking more like you're Roger Rabbit with the guy. <laughs> it's coming. Well, kind of like that in the yeah. Total Recall. All right, guys. Uh, final category, value. I gave it a four. 
I give it a three. I gave it a three. I yeah. gave it a three. It's I, a three. I understand what you guys are saying. This is a three. It's pricey. It's, it's pricey. It's way pricey for Too a pricey. heated. For what you're getting out of this, um, that young... You know, I wish I could give it a higher score. The price is too high because the presentation's so great. I mean, but the think price about is too high. think about all of the yearly releases of Lagavulin and twelve year, okay, mm -hmm. versus the five. Think about mm -hmm. all of the art bag. You know, our you know our uh, what's it, Cody Vrekin that we like. Um, the com even even I would say even the weird committee releases. <laughs> you know, those are one hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. No, I hear what you're saying. I I, I just disagree because. I don't feel in the least bit let down by this. I, I, I paid this much. I paid MSRP for it. Totally justifiable, and I'm actually really impressed with it. For That's five, I years. think you guys are just docking it because it's only five years. Like no, judge it just on it the a... flavors. Just on the flavors, I, I absolutely think no, it's a and four. the price. I was gonna give it one or a two, That's but really because bad. of the flavor, I bumped it up to a three. There you mm. go. I mean, I didn't start at a three. It, it started at a one. Pricey. In the, the current price state, five year. In the current Pricey. state of limited Cast release whiskeys. Pricey. Current state of limited release whiskeys, I don't, I, I don't know. So man. you're telling me, up, I think this whoa, lives up wait, to so it. you're telling me you'd, you'd tell somebody to go de get this yeah, rather yeah, than a, recommend to buy this. Get an Ardbeg quoting for a kid. Yeah, you're not recommending anyone to buy this. Or, I think or it's more even go, I, go for like a Lafroy tan cask or a It's a Lagavulin. special release. Put it in the category of special releases. Lagavulin 16. It stands up to its price as, as, as a special release. I think it stands up to its price. Lagavulin 8. That's a fair point. That's fair. Okay, guys. Let's Lagavulin get, 11. Let's get our final tally. Um, I think we all ended up at 79. 79. 79. So we all so we had calculate it. 79. I don't um, think it'll calculate I'll do the calculator. Do, 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 do. Um, and hey, guess what? The official Curiosity Public Score for Octomore 12.1 <laughs> is... Group think. 79. 79. I, it's very rare that we end up at the exact same score. I don't think it's ever happened before. This must be a new... Yeah. This has to be a new thing. A new, yeah, a new it'll be Jules's new thing. A new thing. A Jules's new, new thing. thing. A new thing. And I'm very much looking forward to comparing this to the Me too. Before Egg 10, which we're going to do in a second too, for our members. I feel like we're going to be able to pick it up. Though. For everybody else, thank you guys so much for thank watching. You. Jules, take us out of this episode. Tell us what you guys think in the comment below. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. Other way, just let us know. Subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public. If you want to help us out, please consider joining Curiosity Private membership program here on YouTube. We are also on Patreon. We are selling t-shirts. That one. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, <laughs> yeah, I almost got one. confused with that one. Links in the description. We uh, have a podcast on the major podcast platforms out there. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Stay your ass. Actually, does that actually say curiosity public? Yep. Uh, it's In Chinese. <laughs> Chinesey. It's like Q B A C T. Yeah. He made all that up. Poo. It has a little circle. Poo. 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 Is it? It's poo. 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 I wish I had something to say, but I can't say anything. There's nothing. About that. There's nothing. That's all it is. Speechless. <laughs>